All right, let's do a quick little revenue problem here. Let's say you got a company that sells turkeys, okay? A little turkey company. And you sell your turkeys right now for $22 for a fresh turkey. And at that price, you sell around 20 million, yes, I said 20 million turkeys, okay? A lot of zeros there. So my revenue right now, remember, revenue is price times number sold. My revenue right now, if I took 22 times 20 million, and I'm going to go to my calculator here to make sure I don't tell you anything wrong. You get $440 million from selling turkeys. Sounds like a really good retirement plan for me. $440 million right now. So what you do as a company, you decide to test something out. You lower your price by $3. So you take this down to 19 And when you do that, you gain 5 million customers at $19. So, in this case, would there be a maximum revenue that I could find if I continue to lower my price? Or would there be an optimum price that would give me my maximum revenue? And so what we did was we set up that price times number sold, parentheses, and you'll see that that looks very similar to the factoring that we had in the other video and the factoring that we've done in class and everything. Right now, the price is $22, but I'm going to lower it by $3. So, what I did was 22 minus 3x. Remember we talked about this being that mx plus b thing that we talked about all year. Beginning amount, and then the rate of change, how quickly you're changing it. So, 22 minus 3x. When you do this, when you lower your price, you take that 20 million customers that we had and you add 5 million every time you lower the price by $3. So 20 million plus 5 million X. Again, MX plus B. B getting amount for number sold and the change that you're going to have. In this problem, what you do is you take each one of these parentheses and you set them equal to zero. Basically what we're doing is like what we did when we were solving a quadratic equation by factoring. The difference here is I'm finding when the revenue equals zero because if I can find when the revenue equals zero, the vertex or the maximum point is going to be right in the middle of those two. So if you add this 33x over here, 30, 3x over here, sorry, excuse me, and you divide by 3 on both sides, you're going to get 22 over 3. It doesn't divide evenly. So it's going to be real pretty. It's going to have a nice little number for you. Then you take this over here, this 20 million, if you subtract the 20 million over to the other side, you're going to have 5 million x equals negative 20 million. And when you divide by 5 million on both sides, you get negative 4. So negative 4 is kind of pretty, 22 over 3 is kind of ugly. So that means my vertex is probably not going to be really, really pretty, and sometimes that happens in these. But if you can do this process to find the vertex, you'll be okay. Remember, this is when the revenue equals zero, or the x-intercepts of the graph. If you were thinking about the way this graph looks, it would be going through negative 4 and 22 over 3, and those would be my two intercepts. The vertex is halfway in the middle of those. So, how do I find halfway in the middle? Well, I take those, I add them together, and I divide by 2. Yes, you're going to have to use the calculator a little bit here on this guy. So you take negative 4 plus that 22 over 3, press enter, math and interchanges that back to a fraction and then you divide that by 2 math enter enter changes that back to a fraction of 5 thirds so 5 thirds is where my vertex is located but that's not the answer to the problem don't forget to take this guy right here and plug him in up at the top of this equation for the x into the revenue function so 22 minus 3 times 5 thirds is going to give me the price. Remember, this is the price parentheses. And then 20 million plus 5 million times x, or 5 over 3, for my vertex will tell me how many people I sell turkeys to. So 22 minus 3 times 5 over 3, that ends up being the threes cancel out, so you get minus five. So that tells you you should lower your price by five dollars, basically, and tells you your price should be seventeen dollars. That's how much you should charge. When I do that, let's come over here to the calculator. Twenty million 
plus 5 million times that 5 thirds is going to give me 283, excuse me, 28 million, 333,333.33 people. So that's how many people, and I'm going to put the decimal here, even though I'm going to use the calculator to help me do this, so I'm not going to leave it as a decimal. So I can be as precise as possible and hit math, enter, enter. Uh, and the calculator is not going to like that one for us. That's what you get for making up a problem on the fly, Mr. Harrison. But anyways, we take that to uh, 28.3 million, basically. We multiply that by $17 at my price. And so I'm going to make 481,666,000.7. So 481,666,666. So I know that's really ugly. You got all those six six sixes in there, right? You're scared, right? It must be the Illuminati. <laughs> just a kid, yeah, just kid. So the seventeen dollars is the price that I should charge. So if I asked you on the test, you know what price should you charge? That's what you're going to tell me. And what's the maximum revenue right here? So that's the price, and this is the maximum revenue. 